two please come here? Yes, Mommy. I'm here, Mommy Dearest. Wonderful. So, I don't know if I mentioned it to you, but we are hosting Thanksgiving this year. We aren't going to Grandma or Grandpa's this year? No, honey. I figured we could give them a break and host this year instead. That would be great. My only request is that Grandma still makes her apple peach pie for dessert. I'm sure you couldn't pry that recipe from her hands if you wanted to. That pie will surely make an appearance. I'm glad we got that squared away. Now, Thanksgiving will be Thanksgiving. So, now that we got that figured out, I'm really going to need your help to pull this off. Well, how many people are coming exactly? Well, there'll be us, my sisters and Hazel, Grandma, the DeLucas, the Barkers, and I believe Naomi asked if she could invite her friends, the Diaz family. So, it's going to be around 25 people total, give or take. <laughs> oh my goodness, Mom! That's a lot of people. But it's going to be even more work. Diamond, stop being like that. All the work we put in will be worth it because it's for our loved ones. Plus, it won't be so bad if we work together and have a plan to execute everything. Lucky has a point. Plus, this opportunity doesn't come around very often. Your grandparents are getting older and may not always have the ability to host the big holidays like they used to. This gives us a chance to start new traditions and show our loved ones how much you care about them. You have a point there, Mommy. All right, I'm in. As if you had a choice. <laughs> You're right, I probably didn't, but it's nice to think that I did. Okay, girls, do you two have any ideas of some activities we can do for the day? Oh, I've got one. When everyone enters the house, we can set up a thankfulness box. Everyone writes down one thing that they are thankful for and puts it in the mouth without writing their names on it. At dinner, we can read all the notes while we eat. That's a great idea. Thanks, Mommy. I can make the box and set everything up in the foyer. I love it. Now, we need some activities for after dinner. Diamond, do you have any ideas for that? Not right now, but I think I could come up with something before Thanksgiving. I hope. Great. That will be one of your responsibilities. Okay, now let's plan the menu. I was thinking turkey, of course. I found this recipe online that I want to try. Then there are the side dishes we need to decide on. Aunt Renee and Kitty said they would help out with that. Lucky, can you get the door for me, please? That must be your aunties and grandma. Yeah, of course. I'm excited they are here to help. Oh, and don't forget to have them fill out the thankfulness box. I won't. Hello, Granny. Hi, Aunt Renee, Kitty, Hazel. It's so good to see all you guys. I'm so glad everyone can make it this year. Come on in. It's good to see you, dear. So lovely as always. Thank you, Grandma. Before you go inside, pick a card and answer the question anonymously and put it in the thankfulness box. This is a cute idea. Thanks. I figured everyone could read one during dinner. You're always coming up with great ideas, Lucky. Thanks, Kitty. When you're all done, come join us in the kitchen. Where is everyone? They are answering the questions for the thankfulness box. Okay, nice. Where is Diamond? I haven't seen her all morning. Can you go get her for me, Lucky? You've got plenty of work to do, and all hands need to be on deck. Sure, Mommy. I think she may be downstairs. I heard some noise down there when I passed by earlier. Good morning, Diamond. What are you doing? I'm cleaning up the basement and setting up the games I made. Where exactly is this coming from? Well, apparently you forgot the same way I did. Remember, Mommy asked me to come up with some activities for after dinner? 
Well, I only remembered last night, so I've been up making these games. You're right, I did forget. You've been up all night setting this up? Yeah, pretty much. I took a nap or two on the couch, but I wanted to make sure everything was done. Nice. I'm looking forward to playing these games. What games do you have exactly? I can't tell you everything. You'll have to find out with everyone else. All I will tell you is there's a cool scavenger hunt. All right. I don't want you to spoil your surprise. I'll tell Mommy that you're working down here. Okay. Tell her I should be done soon, and I'll be up to help in about a half hour, if that's okay with her. I'll ask and see what she says. Oh, Granny and Aunt Renee, Kitty and Hazel are here. Awesome! Tell them I'll be up soon. Mommy, I found Diamond. She is downstairs making the activities you asked her to come up with. She said she'll be done in 30 minutes, if that's okay with you. Yes, that's fine. I didn't know she was going to come through with the activities. I'm very proud of her. As a matter of fact, I was going to send Spike, Hazel, and Diamond down to clean up the basement. Diamond has it all covered. She's been downstairs all night cleaning up and making games. I'm looking forward to seeing what she came up with. Look at my baby taking the initiative. I can't wait to see her. She has shocked me. All right. Well, Hazel, I guess that frees things up for you to put the cookie dough on the pan. Yes, yes, yes! I get to make the cookies! Thank you, friends and family, for joining us tonight. We are so honored to be hosting this year's Thanksgiving. Let's bless the food. Who would like to do the honors? I wouldn't mind blessing the table, Mommy. Wonderful. Let's have some silence while Diamond says grace. Whenever you're ready, my dear. Okay. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful to be in your presence, Lord. Thank you, Father, for allowing each and every one of us to make it here safely, for allowing us to gather in your name and celebrate our gratefulness for you, and for allowing us to be in each other's lives. We come together today to give thanks for all that you have provided for us, from the clothes on our backs, the food on this table, and the roof over our head. There is so much more to be grateful for, and every day we strive to give you all the honor and the glory, because everything we are and do is from you, and we want to acknowledge that. One thing we can do to add to our list is our gratefulness for you to allow us to have each other as friends and family. So, as we partake in this meal, as it nourishes our body, as we're reminded of all the hands that went into making this meal, let us remember the real joy is having our loved ones close. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. 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 That was a lovely prayer, Diamond. I wouldn't think something so eloquent could come from such a young lady like yourself. Thank you, Granny. This holiday has really made me realize how blessed we are to have so many loved ones, and I wanted to show everyone that. Just wait until after dinner. We're going to have a blast. I agree with you, Mommy. Diamond is really impressing me this holiday. Yeah, I agree. I'm glad you finally got into the holiday spirit. Mom... Can we start with the thankfulness box now? Yes, my love. Go right ahead. Okay, so when everyone walked in, you all answered a question and put it in the thankfulness box. Now, we are each going to pull a paper from the box and read it out loud. You probably won't read your own particular answer, which is exactly the point. That's cool. I didn't understand how this was exactly going to work. Yeah, alright. So, I'll go first. I love when we sit around the dinner table and tell old time stories. That's sweet. You're next. I enjoy seeing all the generations of family come together and love one another. Hmm, I like that one. Aunt Renee, it's your turn. My favorite food during Thanksgiving is cranberry sauce. It's such an easy dish, but it's only made during Thanksgiving. I think I want it more during the year. I can agree with that. Your turn. I like being accepted by our new family. 
by making memories with old friends. This was mine. Mrs. Diaz, you're not supposed to say who, but that was so fitting for you. Okay, who's next? Thanks to everyone who wanted to come and join the fun. The first activity I have planned for the night is a Thanksgiving themed scavenger hunt. There is a total of 10 clues. I'll give you the first clue that will lead you to the next clue and so on and so on until you get to the end. This is a group activity, but I have other games lined up for later. This is gonna be fun! Give us the first clue, Diamond! Okay, it's a place where chestnuts warm and where cornbread hardens. The kitchen? Good guess, you're close, but you're thinking too modern. So, that means it was something done long ago. Is it a tent? Hmm, I don't think that's right. How does cornbread harden? It hardens when it's cooked. A place where chestnuts warm, it has to be the place where heat is generated. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire? That's one of my favorite Christmas songs. And it's also the answer to this riddle. The Native Americans would cook cornbread in a pan over an open fire, and that's how you warm chestnuts. The closest thing to an open fire is the fireplace. You're so smart, college boy. Go find out if you're right. To the fireplace for the next clue. Lucky, Diamond, I'm so proud of you too. You both really came together to help me pull off this Thanksgiving. The things you two contributed to the night really made it a special event. I didn't know if you two would be so willing to help. I am so grateful to have you ladies as my daughters. It was a lot of work, but it's worth it when everyone is having so much fun. You're right about that. Plus, in the end, we won't remember all the hard work behind the day. We will only remember the good times and memories we made. I found the next clue. Oh, we, we better go. Therefore, whenever we have the opportunity, we should do good to everyone, especially to those in the family of faith. Galatians chapter 6 verse 10.